Hi everybody, we are in week 12 of the Bible reading experience. We're picking up this week in Deuteronomy chapter 24, right in the middle of this long sermon that Moses is giving the Israelites, wherein he's basically repeating different aspects of the law that we've already come across in Exodus, Leviticus, and numbers and there is such a big emphasis on the law in this part of scripture remember that this is a new generation of israelites who are being prepared to enter into canaan to enter into the promised land this land that god had promised their forefathers abraham isaac and jacob and actually their prosperity in this new land how they fare how they get on hinges very much uh, entirely actually on their ability to obey God's law, on their ability to cooperate uh, with God and to and to do what he says in his commands. And so, so it really is important that Moses repeats the law again. In the last part uh, of the book, uh, there is an emphasis on the importance of this covenant, this covenant that God has concluded with his people and the importance of upholding the covenant. Because if the covenant is upheld, it results in blessings upon blessings. And on the other hand, if, if um, they break covenant, it would result in curses. He talks about life and death. And actually God through Moses says, he says to the Israelite community, I set before you life and death. Please choose life and live. And then um, we also see the conclusion basically of Moses' life and Moses' ministry uh, here on earth and the appointment of a new leader in Joshua. And so the book of Deuteronomy will come to an end and then we will go into the book of Joshua uh, where God starts by saying to, to Joshua, Moses my servant is dead. Now then you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give them to the Israelites. And in that same passage, God uh, really, he, he both commands and encourages Joshua to not be afraid and to not be discouraged. Verse 6, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Verse 7, be strong and be very courageous. Verse 9, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so, uh, and so really, God is giving Joshua strength and courage uh, by giving him uh, this command that comes with the promise that God is he's going with you and so uh, and so we see Joshua taking up this mantle and uh, they cross over the Jordan River and they enter into God's promised land finally and um, the adventure continues um, they really start to take possession uh, of this land. You will read stories like um, how they marched around the walls of Jericho, around Jericho and brought the walls of Jericho down. There'll be stories about how they start to, to take over the land and to, to defeat uh, the, the kings and uh, the inhabitants of the land. And so it's really, um, it's really still a story of God's faithfulness of 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 our faithful covenant keeping God and uh, and Moses is now gone and Joshua's on the scene but God is still God and God is still faithful and we continue to see uh, his faithfulness and how he deals with and how he leads his people so really exciting they they enter into uh, God's promises uh, and so um 
please be blessed this week uh, as you read. Be finding God, looking for God in these passages. Uh, be looking for his nature, what he's like, uh, how faithful he is. Um, be looking for yourself uh, as well because, you know, the things that God says to Joshua are the same things that he would say to you to uh, put steel in your spine, uh, as it were. So um, have fun uh, as you read uh, this week. Um, and I really pray that you encounter God and that you have fun uh, engaging with his word through the Bible. So God bless you and take care. Bye-bye.